Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. I'm just literally getting ready for the day. I'm gonna record my Shein haul video. So I'm just literally getting ready. I'm not in a good mood, but whatever. It is what it is. We're going to uh, record this video and we're going to be in a good mood, I guess. Um, So like, I'm just really discouraged. Like, so I was doing so well, like healthy eating. I really was like, you know, it was a whole mood. It was a real vibe. 15 days we made it. And then something came up where I couldn't be healthy. So I had to take a day off. And then it's been like self-sabotage ever since. And I'm just like, ugh. I don't know. I'm just in my feelings about it. It's just literally not the vibe. Can I just ever use this? Um, so CeraVe, I was recommended these products and I was like, okay, let me try them. So I've literally been using them and I really like them. I just washed my face in the shower with the um the facial wash and it's so nice so now we're this is the skin renewing cream serum you're supposed to just spot it on your face but my theory is if we just put it on our entire face then we've covered every area so we shouldn't have any issues so that is what i do i don't like to rub too much on my hands because then um you're just putting it in your hands and it's a waste of the product. So I just do that. Literally. And it's all I do. Again, my disclaimer. I'm not a skincare guru or beauty guru by any means. But it's literally, it's literally what I do. I don't know. So much easier, right? But yeah, so, oh, I'm also going to use the moisturizer too. So I'm just pissed. And I don't put too much moisturizer on my face, literally just a little bit. But I'm just pissed. Like I'm really, really upset. And another thing, I was just I've just been thinking, which can be bad sometimes. But I see all these programs and people are like, oh, let me help you. Oh my god, my face is sore right here. I don't know why. It's almost like I took a punch. But they're like, let us help you lose weight for $70 for the week. And we'll make you like a meal plan and this and that. And we'll give you the exercises. I can't help but think, and I was talking with Amanda about it. Not that I needed her to validate my feelings. But like, it's, I know I'm not crazy because we are on the same page. When you're on the same page with another, another individual usually, like... I don't know. Like, I just feel like we shouldn't be charging people to lose weight. It's mean-spirited. And shame on anybody who's doing it. I don't care if you're my friend. I don't care if you're a business. I really don't care. Shame on anybody charging somebody to lose weight. Because that's a real fucking struggle, okay? Let me tell you, that's a real goddamn struggle. Like... These plans, if you can offer assistance to somebody, you should be doing it. Anybody who's charging people to lose weight from now on is not welcome to my circle. Because I think it should be something we should just want to help. I mean, obviously, we can't be giving the food and stuff away if you're, if you're selling food. Like, obviously, we can't do that. But, like, if you know, like, a secret, if you can help somebody make a meal plan, you shouldn't charge them for it. That's where I'm at. I don't know. I just, I feel that way, those are my feelings, and I'm sticking with them, like, I, I don't care. It's just like, uh, you know, I just look at me. I've spent probably tens of thousands of dollars at this point to lose weight. I could have gotten gastric bypass surgery with a few other surgeries for 26000 I just think, like, and not that I want to do that, because I could, but I'm just like, let's just wait and see what happens we'll see literally no pun intended what god's plan is um for me but i'm just like ugh. you know i've spent so much fucking money and it's so maddening it's just so upsetting like it just doesn't seem to work so i'm back on track today so maybe that's why i'm irritated and having these feelings i've literally had a crustless quiche for breakfast um which is probably like one and a half eggs and 
a protein shake, so I'm just a little like, Ugh. but I don't know. At the end of the day, I just, I don't know. I don't, I just don't think we should be charging people to lose weight. It's mean. It's so mean. It's so terrible. Like, people can't afford it. You should just want to help people. Whatever happened to people just wanting to help people? Like, whatever happened to that? Like, you know what I mean? If I knew the, tr if I had the elixir, if I knew what worked for everybody, you better believe, you better believe, yeah, that's easy for trying on clothes. You better believe I would be helping people. I wouldn't be charging people. I'd be like, let me get you skinny. Cause so I've tried it all. I've tried the keto, paleo, Slim Fast, South Beach, the Atkins. Like, you name it, I have done it. The Cert Diet. And, like, it's just so hard. I don't know. I will never charge somebody to lose weight. It's just mean-spirited. That's precisely what it is. It's mean-spirited. And I think if you're charging people to lose weight, then... You need to evaluate, like, what your, you need to evaluate what your, um, your, you know, your true intentions are. I think it's to exploit people. You take the most vulnerable group of people, look at me rubbing my stomach on the camera. You take the most vulnerable group of people and you, like, are taking their money. And, like, you know that they're not going to stick with that diet. Like, I'm sorry. Like, okay, so for all these diets and people promoting them and, like, I don't know. Like, I just feel like the success rate, there's definitely a success rate, but I feel like it's probably, like, 5, 10 to 15% of the people going into the programs. Like, I really do. It's not going to be this gargantuous, huge number. And I think it's mean, and I could honestly cry about it, but I'm not going to. But, like, it's just so mean. It's so mean. It's so mean. I've been there. I've been swindled. I've been bamboozled by these people, too. And then you see all these trainers on, like, Facebook. And it's like, I don't know. You see all these trainers on Facebook. And literally, they're, like, ripped eight packs. Like, just, like, you know, like, V cut fronts. Like, you know, the backs are etched out, like, they've been on the etch sketch, like, and it's like, I can help you get this way for $80 every two weeks with a tailored meal plan, and it's like, mm, no, you can't. No, you cannot. Like, I just, mm, I don't know. I'm really mad, and I think people in the gym, I'm over the gym, too. I mean, I just feel, I need clone. I just feel like people at the gym are just, like, so nasty. I really do. Like, ugh, I just am like, ugh. I don't know. I'm over that, that moment, too. I just, I mean, I don't know. It's like you see big people in the gym and you just walk around them and you're just, and here, right where I live in Nova Scotia, like, I'm telling you, that gym is not a friendly atmosphere. The people are not warm. They are not welcoming. They are not inviting. Now, I have met one or two people. Um, what's her name? Um, I forget her name on my Instagram. She's very, very nice. Her and her husband, they're, they've asked, you know, they've wanted to help me out. They're very nice people. But, like, every single other person, I've tried to, like, add, like, gym people on my social media. And, like, I can't handle them. Like, I can't handle them. I just think, like, I don't know. It's too much. Like, it's too intimidating. And they, like, again, if I seen somebody were struggling, I would reach out to them and I'd be like, how can I help you? What's popping? And I don't know. It just really ruffles my feathers. And then, like, at the same time, too, I do have people in my life and circle who are very healthy and fit but like then you start to feel like you've exhausted your options like you bo bother them so much and it's like you just start to feel bad and I don't even know anymore I don't know it's just becoming literally team too much 
15 too much. I'm not even putting primer on because I'm only putting stuff on my face for a YouTube video. But like, like what? What? Where does, like where does the cycle stop? Like where do you stop being upset with yourself? Like where, I understand literally why, I mean I would never, I'm good, like don't worry about me. I'm not triggered. I trigger, this is trigger warning. But like I understand why people jump off the bridge, fuck. Like if you're not a strong person, like, I mean I would like to think I'm a strong person even though I complain. I mean I just complain in a more public, I guess, setting, doing it on YouTube, but like, I can handle things, like mentally, I'm, everything's fine. Oh my goodness, look at my face, it's so terrible. But like, um, I don't know, I just, I understand why people struggle, I really do, because it's not like a, Oh, and for people who are like, oh, your foundation doesn't match your skin. Like, literally, I love my skin to be, like, a more red hue. Like, it's what I want, right? That's not what's necessarily textbook correct. I could put red eyeliner all over my face, and if it's not how I want it, then there's no errors. So I'm over people judging that, too. Um... But I get it. I get, like, I literally get people's struggles. I honestly do. Because I have been quiet about it for a long time. And, you know, I'm just... I'm just over it. I'm really over it. Like, I don't know. It's so hard. Losing weight's hard. And then it's not, like, just losing weight. It's like... I have to get skin removal surgery if I lose weight. You know? A lot. I lost weight before. My doctor and I had that conversation. She's like, gave me all the information, the doctor's name. And I was like, okay. First of all, if the doctor brings it up to you that about skin removal surgery, I think that's a good sign. So I was happy actually in that moment. That was a good time in life. I was really happy then. I really was. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I really don't know. I don't have the answers. I really don't have the answers. But I do know, what I know for sure, quoting Oprah Winfrey, is that I'm okay and I'm going to be okay. But the gym is not a friendly place. I've come to that term in my head and I'm sticking with it. The people at the gym are not friendly. Like, they're all fit. You know what it reminds me of? Going to the gym, when you're walking around fit people... It's just like, okay, so years ago I used to sing, okay? I used to sing, and they would have these recitals or music festivals. I don't know what the hell you want to call them. And there'd be these children who came from well-to-do families, and they thought they were the best, the bee's knees, and they were just going to win. So, the black sheep pulled up. There we go. Um... Yeah, so I'm just like, eh. I don't know. And then it's like not even comfortable. Like you get to a point in your head, and maybe people aren't looking at me. Maybe it is just me. I don't know. You get to a point in your head where you're just like, I don't even want to go in there. So then, I don't know. You just have anxiety walking in there. Like that's an issue. You know what I'm saying? Like... I don't and I don't like that either because then you're just like you know you're just like you're you're triggered from jump before you hop on the treadmill so then you're on the treadmill it's like walking through some sort of shady neighborhood late at night you think people are looking at you and nobody's probably looking at you but you just have this manifested in your head and just like I don't know built up so it's like it's a lot I don't know but I am over the gym I don't think I'll be at the gym for a long time actually because it's just so triggering to me and then my friend Elijah you guys know um 
He's like, go to a different gym or come to the gym he goes to. But I went there and it's like too small. I do like the fact that like there's open concept like with the windows because the gym I go to there's no windows so it's really unhealthy as far as I'm concerned. I don't know. Like I just don't feel comfortable. I and I literally already go to the gym at like when I go to the gym you guys I mean I probably should not be giving time so that I'm leaving my house but like I go to the gym and it's like no word of a lie it's like mm, 11 o'clock at night 10 30 at night like those are the hours that I go because I don't like going there when other people are there like I just don't feel comfortable I don't know like I don't I hate it stupid not the gym the people and then like okay well they have a room for women why can't they have a room for fat people like you know like fat men are just as insecure as women who think men are looking at them I'm sorry to be so blunt but like it's the truth It is the gods on this. I don't put much eyebrow pencil on because I don't need to. I just like to fill in the gaps. Um, you know, so I'm just like, eh, that bothers me. That has me triggered. Like, what do I need to do? I mean, it's not below me. Like, what do I need to go put on a wig and go downstairs in the women's room? Like, I, what are they going to say? Like, you're not a woman? Okay, it's 2021. You tell me I'm not a woman. <laughs> I wish you a good life. It will be me and you. How you doing? And it's just so upsetting. I just don't know anymore. I mean, have I given up completely? I don't think I've given up completely, but I don't know. I'm definitely in a valley right now. You know, last week, I was having a huge high. Real look, I got mascara on my thumbnail. I was having a really, a really big high, and now to be like just so low, like it's sad to me, and it sucks. It does. It hurts me. In the words of the one and the only Michelle Obama. It is what it is. I don't know. It will get better. It has to. It can't get worse. I just, I said this would happen. If you go back and watch my last video, I predicted. It scares me because I was getting to a point where I thought I was going to fall off the wagon. And I have. I had lost 15 pounds. Now I'm literally up 5 pounds. So like... Uh, I don't know. Is this the end of me? I don't know. But I'm scared. I'm just scared. But the people at the gyms are not nice. I'm so sick of people at the gyms. I'm really sick of people at the gym, actually. And healthy people. I'm envious of healthy people. This is a breakthrough actually with therapy. So my problem is leaving that I have to think about coming into next week's session is I'm envious of healthy people. I'm envious of healthy and fit people. And I feel like I'm targeted at the gym. And maybe it's how I, just how I'm feeling and it's my perception, maybe it's not the truth. See, I've been to therapy so like, the, the fact that you can recognize the issues is terrible. Anyways, okay, well, I think I am done. This is it. We're going to film the Shein haul YouTube video and we are ready. Hey guys, I didn't put anything on my lips. I'll put some lip balm on. Thanks for watching.